Hey, and welcome back to another video. So this one is going to be pretty interesting because I am drunk. Um, this is my first, well, it's not my first attempt at trying to make a repair video while drunk. I've tried it before and it didn't end well because I couldn't take apart the device. But I feel that the iPhone 5 is a bit easier to take apart so I can try it while drunk. Um, it's 3, well, no, it's uh, 12.30 in the morning, December 13th. Um, and I had a lot to drink. Uh, just a disclaimer, um, please drink uh, to the age limit of your country, whatever the legal age limit is, and drink responsibly. Uh, so just to get that out of the way. Um, but before we jump, well, I gotta introduce what exactly I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna try and fix this iPhone 5. Um, it came in a part slot of a bunch of other phones that you can find here. I made a separate video on that. You can go watch that. It was a $27 part slot of nine phones. Uh, so you go, you could go check that out. The video is up there and down in the description below. Uh, but before we jump right in, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button as it helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm on that website where everyone thinks they're a model and a photographer. Uh, what is that, Instagram? Oh yeah, that, that website where everyone thinks they're like models and photographers photographers but they're not they're just like wannabes um i'm on that as well and i'm on uh was that discord and twitter and you can follow me on those if you care the links down in the description and yeah let's open this thing up um so this iphone 5 if you already watched the previous video this iphone 5 has no power it's completely dead uh, probable battery, screwed up battery, or maybe in wor worst case scenario, water damage. I don't know. Where is my, oh, there it is. Oh, I don't have the thing to hold it. Where'd that thing go? Like there's this, this, uh, this ring like thing. Oh, here it is. Uh, I need this ring like thing to pull the screen up. How'd the ring go, get loose? Um, oh, I hope I don't break this. Um, yeah, I had a few, uh, well, not a few, I had a, I had a lot to drink. Quite a freaking lot. Um, it seems to wanna open up from this side, so. Wait, let's, uh, let's bring this towards the center here. I can say probably this has not been opened in the past. Um, does not want to come open that easily. Well, it could be that the previous repair or whatever has done a better job at putting it back, but I feel like it's not been opened in the past. Um, oh boy, yeah, it's pretty stuck on there. Um, let me get something under here, hold up. It's lifting up from that side. Uh, do I have something that I can slide under there? Okay, we have it loose. Uh, so this has been opened. That's not the uh, that's not the original battery. Um, so we have are those Phillips screws? Yeah, well, those are Phillips screws. Let me get a Phillips driver here. Um, hold up, I gotta get a Phillips screwdriver. Okay. Um, so before we uh, do that, let's take out the battery. Well, let's disconnect the battery in the first place. I'm pretty sure the cheap replacement battery um, is the problem here. I don't have a battery on hand, but we'll have to 
tested MC. Um, I think this thing should turn on, like the Apple logo, I think should boot up without the battery, but we'll see. Um, we'll have to plug it in and see. Um, wait up. Uh, I have not opened an iPhone 5 in a while, so wait, where's the battery connector? Oh, so it's here. All right, battery connector is there. Um, battery seems stuck down quite, quite well. The, uh, the replacement battery. Um, let's try plugging it in now. Let me get a charging cable. The battery is disconnected. We're not getting anything. Hmm. It could be the charging port because it does not go entirely inside. There's like some resistance. Um, or maybe it just don't, doesn't want to turn on without a charging cable, without a battery. Let's try plugging the battery in again. Okay. Hmm. Nope, nothing. All right, we gotta dig deeper. Um, we gotta test the voltage on the battery. Firstly, let's get this display out of the way. Um, hope this the screwdriver works. Yeah, it does. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, the screws are pretty loose, obviously, because uh, this has been opened in the past. Um, I wonder what other replacements they've done to this. The display looks original, so I don't think that was like a display replacement. The display looks original, uh, original Apple display. Why doesn't that screw want to come? All right, screw it. Mm, come out. Okay, oh, I need that. Okay, put that over there. Um, we have three connectors. We got the audio connector, we got the uh, digitizer, and we got the LCD. I don't know if you guys can hear me talking. I'm talking really softly because I am drunk. Um, Boat looks fine. We gotta take this battery out. Um, Eh, oh boy, that's 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 stuck on there. Um, yeah, that's stuck. That's almost as stuck as a original battery. Um, let's test the voltage. How will I test the voltage on this? Hold up. Uh, we got positive. I think this is positive negative. I don't know. Um, let me take a closer look at this and be right back. Okay, so I got the battery out and let me mount this up. I don't know if you can see the values there, but uh, we are not getting, well, we are getting really erratic values. Those are not proper values. They keep changing. So that accounts for the error in my uh, uh, multimeter here, but we are not getting a proper 3.7, was it 3.7? Yeah, I think it's 3.7 volts. Yeah, it's 3.7 volts. We are not getting a proper, proper 3.7 volts from any of these. So we have a dead battery that is expected from these unbranded third-party batteries. Um, yeah, so we have a fried battery. So I guess we'll have to replace the battery on this thing. Or we could try and jump charge it. But um, I don't know. Um, I don't think we could jump charge this battery. I don't... I don't really want to try. Um, that barely works, um, especially with, like, I don't have a proper charger. I have like this bunch of cables where it, those, the jump charging works on Nokia batteries, but not so often on iPhone batteries. Um, so we do have a dead battery. Um, I don't know, let's, let's keep this thing on charge for like, uh, 
15 hours maybe and we'll see what happens i think if i leave this on charge for like 15 hours it might come back to life there's a big mite there but we'll see let me plug this in and off camera i'm gonna go and buy a new battery for this thing um because like i said i do need an iphone 5 for something um if this thing turns out to be uh, iCloud lock, that'll be quite a bummer. So let me go and buy another battery and be right back. Um, well, it'll be a couple of days before I continue this video. And I might not be drunk at the time, but I'll try and get drunk and complete the video while on alcohol. All right, so jumping to the next frame. All right, so it's been a few days since the last part of this video and the replacement battery has arrived. Um, we're now gonna get this uh, one out like so, and we're gonna uh, put in the new battery. Um, this was like $5 or something, I can't remember. It's obviously not, a, it's not an original battery, but it'll do the trick, so. Let's put that in. Let's connect the screen first. See if this thing turns on. If it doesn't, then we have a problem because that battery does have a voltage on it. I've tested the battery's good. Um, so it's not the battery if this thing doesn't turn on. Um, all right, let's plug in the battery now. Uh, Hold up. Okay. See if it turns on. Yep, it does. So phone works. It was just a shot battery. Um, let's see what happens. Hope it doesn't have a passcode on it. Um, but we'll see. So, I may think that the battery over there wasn't to blame. And I'm, I, I found out that when I plugged it in, well, now it's okay because I fixed it. But when I plugged it in, like, um, the, uh, where is that? The battery indicator, that and the plug-in logo, both of them were there. The, the picture of the cable was also there. Both of them were there and they were blinking. So I was wondering, what's this? Um, then I remembered I had this issue on another phone a couple of years back, um, which was, and it was an iPhone 6, it was my friend's. It also had that same issue and that was due to stuff inside the charging port, uh, like um, stuff inside the charging port that's not letting all the contacts touch the charging pads. So I cleaned out the charging port really thoroughly and now it's charging uh, normally, just the battery is just dead. Um, it just needs some time to charge. So let's leave it to charge and be right back. So the phone turns on and um, it looks like it has been reset. Um, might be iCloud locked, so I'll have to unlock it using CheckRain and um, was that? Yeah, yeah, CheckRain and that other tool, I forgot what it was called. But I'll go see if it is iCloud locked and if it's not, that's great, but let's go ahead and see. I'll do this setup off screen and be right back. All right, so I set up the phone and it's a 32 gig uh, iPhone 5 running iOS 8. Uh, so we are running iOS 8 here. Um, I need to get it to iOS 10 to, um, I wanna set it up with an Apple Watch. Well, I technically can still set it up with an Apple Watch on iOS 8, but I thought I'll go ahead and update it as well. There's gotta be uh, an iOS 10 update. It's already downloading it. Uh, we'll do that. Um, the reason is I wanna try and connect a um, Apple Watch running Watch OS. I think it's still running Watch OS 1.0. Uh, an Apple Watch running Watch OS 1.0 to this thing. Um, but apart from that, the phone works fine. Uh, let's see if the cameras work. That works fine. Let's see if the front camera works. Um, works fine too. I've put assistive touch because the home button is not touching. The, the screen is still loose. I've not pasted it down. Um, 
but everything works as it should. It's in excellent condition. It's a great iPhone 5. So I'll go ahead and do whatever I have to do with it. Um, uh, as time passes, I gotta go and turn on that watch and see if it has any charge. But until then, uh, thanks for watching um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.